Kenny. One, two, three. We're welcome by Nate and Mom and Dad. Tell us who our favorite two people are Mom and Dad. And Mom and Dad, welcome back. Oh, uh-huh. yes. Yes. And, and it's so good to have you guys on here. And we're working on everybody getting Hanty on board here. So I know that Hanty's coming on board here at any moment now because everybody wants to see Hanty too. So this is the whole family involved here. So yeah, just want to let everybody know. Um, how you doing, Hanty? You're on yet? Yeah, I am. Um, I was trying to get on my my PC at home and uh-huh. Carlin walked me through it. But they're saying that I my camera is on other apps and, and I, I know that that's not true. Oh. So I'm now I'm on my iPad. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. All right. So we will uh, ask you to start your video because I know the whole everybody wants to see Hank. And, and today's subject, everybody, that we're talking about here. Yeah, he wanted to know what it was. What's the it's, subject? The subject today is talent versus a gift. Talent oh, I can talk. I can All talk. right. So, so we're gonna we're gonna put the framework here with the difference between a talent and a gift is everyone. All right, so we're gonna put a definition behind it. A talent is developed over time, can be improved through practice, is intellectual, physical, or creative in nature. A gift, however, the difference is, is given by higher power, not <laughs> easily acquired through practice, and is often associated with spiritual religious beliefs. Mm-hmm. Um, I like to break it down kind of like this, is that a gift is something that just naturally comes to you that, that you don't have to do anything for, but it's something with the limited amount of effort you got to do it brings a maximum out that people wish they had or that, that that you have, right? A talent is something you got to refine, you know, got to go to school for to kind of sharpen it up and stuff. And 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 you can acquire a talent by just practicing it over and over again, like shooting a shot, basket, right? Mm-hmm. Um, or, or throwing a ball or playing the piano. But a gift is you can play it in a certain way. It just comes naturally like, like Richard Smallwood. So what are your guys' thoughts on that? Are we ready to? Yep, we're doing it right now. (laughs) (laughs) All right, who wants to start first? Okay, don't all speak at one time. (laughs) We're bashful. Uh, Yeah, don't be bashful. Dad, we'll start with you. Well, gifts and talents are something that everyone does have a gift. Yes. A gift. There's no one that does not have a gift. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm thinking of the uh, of the man that uh, I think it was in California that had a golden voice. Mm-hmm. Oh yes, and that was a gift that he had. And no matter what he did, everyone admired his gift. Mm-hmm. But not everybody has the gift of um, of a good speaking voice. Mm-hmm. And I, right. and I noticed that among a lot of um, uh, pastors, mm-hmm. some pastors, I mean, their voice just resonates mm-hmm. and it comes out naturally. Uh, other pastors, they really have to work on their speech. Mm-hmm. I, and be honest with you, you know, some people have just good looks. They're just born with it. Like, wow, they're gorgeous, right? Like, there's nothing they had to do to earn it. They just got it, right? Mm-hmm. I remember a, a guy I worked with and his voice sounded so good. It was a radio voice. I was like, man, I wish I had a voice like that. You know, he just came out there like, dude, why weren't you in radio? Mm-hmm. So, you know, that that's that's part of that gifting thing. Um, Mom or Hanty, which one you want to talk about that? Who wants to go first between the two? Get Hanty. Um, I'll 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 speak because because I know the difference. Mm-hmm. Um, not because I have either one. And I guess I need to define, does someone else compliment you on so that you know that you have the gift mm-hmm. or do, or. It, it's not that handy. It's something that you do naturally that most people, cause see, sometimes people don't recognize a gift. Right. Uh, you know, right. Right. And, and and it's not your fault. They don't recognize it. You know, it, it's just like, you know, hey, if you walk past a diamond and someone else finds it, that's because they know what kind of value it has in it. Right. Mm-hmm. And everybody got put on this planet to have gifts. A gift is something you can easily do 
that doesn't take a whole lot of effort that other people would take that effort and you just do it naturally. Mm -hmm. Okay. But so then my question is, mm -hmm. um, because, because we are of the religion, we are mm -hmm. a gift comes from God. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. And then that's, and we're framing it that way. A gift comes from God. You, you didn't earn it. God gave it to you. He just mm -hmm. gave it to you. He just okay. gave it to you. And that's your thing that you can take. And the Bible says a gift, will make room for you to stand before a great man. Mm -hmm. So it's very important to find that gift. But we'll talk more about at that. A, at, yeah. an, at an early age. Yeah. And that's so important. And this is where parenting, and right. mom here, is so important to find the gift that your child, that God has given it. Amen. So that right. child has a chance in life. Right. See, so many parents are selfish. They, I had this kid, this kid does stuff for me. Instead of saying, what does this kid have to make life better for other folk around it. And I don't think parents spend enough time, especially in this day and age. They're so worried about the end result. They're not worrying about, well, this kid may have the gift to find a cure for cancer. Mm. Okay, so we're we're at talent versus what? Gift. Talent versus gift. Mm -hmm. and, and we're describing a talent as developed over time, can be improved through practice and intellectual. So basically a talent is you can refine a gift. And, and I'll get back to you, Hanty, real quick. Mom, what are your thoughts on that? <laughs> well, I have both. I was gifted and I'm talented. Okay. That's all I can say. I mean, people tell me, tell me, they tell me, I don't tell them. But this, that's what it's mm -hmm. told to me. And, and, and like I said, when you have to practice at it, that's a refinement, right? A gift is something, it's just there, right? And you well, and you I, can make it better by, by using it. But well, like I said, you know, a lot of times I think, um, like I said, I had a talent for a lot of things, but I have to develop that. And you can lose talent if you don't use it. That's right. Mm -hmm. So I have a question. Yes, ma'am. So, uh, so if we have, if we have a talent mm -hmm. and it's, it's, and we don't, we ourselves don't recognize it. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Um, the Lord holds it in place yeah. until we're ready for it. And that's the beautiful thing about God, folks. Mm -hmm. He's like, I gave it to you. And, and I'm hoping that you get with me to find out what it is. That's why it's so important to know God and pray right. for, to have him reveal that to you, folks. I don't think enough people ask for that revelation for them to use it because you, you, you'll find out when you use your gift, people will seek you out. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You don't have to worry about not getting attention. Your gift gives you attention. I mean, you see these TikTokers and I see amazing stuff on TikTok. Just want to give a shout out for folk out there who have some gifts and stuff. And I, you know, I can't dance to save my life. If you put a gun to my head and said dance, I'm probably dead. And some people out there can just do stuff with their bodies and stuff like that. And I'm just like, and keep it in beat. And I'm like, wow, that's amazing. And people watch that, right? But if if you don't think it's anything, you're not going to show it to anybody. And you're going to hide it. And people tend to hide it because they, they do something that they shouldn't do. And that's compare your gift or talent to other people. Okay. Yes. So I, I have a... a and I'm not taking over your show or anything. No, no, Hanty, look, you have to do you want. I have this question. I and I, I had to write it down because yeah. I'm t I tend to forget. Okay. Is it a talent or a gift in getting along with people? Oh, that's mm -hmm. a gift. It can be a gift. This it can also be a talent. And this is the difference. A gift is you know how to make people get along in a room. What what do you what 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 is the definition of what you how do you just start getting along with people? What does a person do? Well well and that that's a gift for that because it's a peace peacemaker. The Bible says these are the peacemakers. Yes. Okay. Right? There's a when you have that way where you can, can take the, the, the tenseness out of a room. Right. You know, the, they call them mediators in some places, right? They call them peace talks. You bring in someone in there. And it's a gift to be able to bring both sides together that are antagonistic to, to have a different point of view of what can we find in common to get along. Not everybody can do that. You're right. You're right. Not everybody can do it. And if you do it naturally, you can get paid for that if you recognize the time. Because people, those mediators get paid a lot of money. 
mm-hmm. millions and millions of dollars so that people don't have to spend a whole lot more money going to court. Think about that. Mm-hmm. Had you did recognize? You, yeah. Did mm-hmm. you mention the word mediator? Yeah. Okay. okay. You know, it, it, that's a very important gift, right? Right. Mediation, and you see it sometimes when people get divorced, you see other situations and stuff that if you can bring those people together who don't want to, to whatever their situation is, that's a mm-hmm. gift. That's a talent too, right? Because you can have a talent for bringing that because you refine me, you go to school, kind of learn some techniques, mm-hmm. right? Um, to do that, you know, calling someone off of a cliff, I'm going to jump. Mm. You know, not everybody should be able to talk to people. You know, and that's why I said special people to talk to those folk because they know either they've been trained or they have a gift of getting someone to understand to come off that edge. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right. Right. Uh, and, and, like, and like I said, a lot of times people think they have a gift or talent because they say they have it because or someone else said and they use it and don't work out. You know, that's that's misappropriation of gifts. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Misappropriation of gifts. That, that, I like that. That's a good, good phrase. <laughs> yeah, you, yes, you know, you, yes, it is. You, you got people out there that 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 think they can sing. I, I know some people who think they can sing, and people want to tell them to stop, but they try to find platforms to always put what they think is their talent out there, and folk be like, "I can't wait till they get off." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but they're polite to sit there and like, okay, when's the next one? <laughs> you know, some we live in the age that's rude. People just sometimes just get up and speak or walk out now, unfortunately. But the um, that, that's another aspect, right? Or some people think they they can talk, mm-hmm. they can, or can preach, mm-hmm. but they tell themselves that. But you know, you can see the audience. That's not their gift. Mm-hmm. Mm. Now they can make it their talent if they work hard enough at it. But and think about this: a talent has to be refined and worked at really, really hard over yeah. and over again, right? And it's got to be done the right way because you can practice wrong too. A lot of people don't know that, um, especially being a coach. I've seen people practice wrong, and they have, and it affects them later on because they practice so hard the wrong. It make they make themselves feel right. But then it can't elevate to the next level because they don't have the right technique to take them there. So that's why it's very important when you get a talent or refining a talent, get the right people who can get you there. And if you use God as your instructor, you'll get there because mm-hmm. he's going to order your steps and guide your path. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I don't want to. What are your thoughts on that, everyone? Because this is a real good discussion. And and I think. Yeah, it is. is. I just had an ex- ex- experience mm-hmm. uh, from a pastor that came to me. Mm-hmm. One night after the prayer meeting and said, you know, he said, you have, because I had played for a prayer meeting that night. He said, mm-hmm. you know, he said, you preach a sermon on the piano. Yeah. And I said to him, I don't have the gift to preach. Mm-hmm. Correct. So I have to put what I feel into the keys mm-hmm. and, and go with that. And, and, and let me tell everybody this. So I recognize so I recognize my gift versus my talent. And 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 and, and I'm glad you pointed that out. Don't because have speaking out to you know to be able to exp- express whatever it is but i can you know put it on the key and, what i feel and i'm glad you pointed it out mom because i want to let everybody know this when you are connected with god Amen. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. if god needs you to preach a sermon that day you're a preacher mm-hmm. supernatural power will come upon you i'm a witness of it Hmm. I can tell people a lot of things I'm not, but with God's power, I'm all things at all times when he needs mm-hmm. me to be because I'm available. Mm-hmm. So I hope that inspires Absolutely. somebody out there that you are somebody. And if That's you open right. yourself up to God, you'll mm-hmm. see yourself being more places and doing more things you ever imagined. Mm-hmm. You're talking to someone who almost flunked out of the first grade. <laughs> it's going to be a trash We were just talking about that, Todd. <laughs> I know. Oh, amazing, isn't it? Oh, it amazing. is. It's, it is. It's, 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 and some people say I'm some with some of the smartest people in the world right now. <laughs> right. They're listening to me. Have mercy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And, and 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 I tell people when God wants you to be something, nobody can stop you. That's right. Mm. No matter how old or young you are, you yeah. stop yourself by not connecting to Him. And, and I, like I said, mm. I hope somebody gets inspired today. I hope somebody wants to know mm. Christ today. And I hope someone understands why it's important to get connected to him today because your gifts and talents, especially mm-hmm. used by God, 
he increases them. Hey, amen. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and that's a wonderful feeling knowing that you can be anything that God calls you to be at any time because he deals with anything at any time and causing this. So if you feel you don't have enough, get with God. If you feel you have too much, get with God. If you wonder why you underutilize, get with God. Because sometimes it may be the circles you're hanging out with. Mm-hmm. that you're not supposed to be in. Mm-hmm. Just because they don't recognize your talent don't mean your talent. You need to find a different circle that appreciates your talent. Mm-hmm. That's right. And, and so before we leave here and give our parting thoughts, I want to leave this with people. Even Christ didn't stay around with people that didn't believe in him. Oh. Mm-hmm. It's in scripture, folks. He didn't heal everybody. Mm-hmm. If you didn't believe in him, that. It, He's the son of God. Mm-hmm. It's not it's not his fault. He's the truth and the light. But he just said, you know what? I'm going I'm going to leave you alone cuz that's what you want. And find a different circle. So what are your thoughts on that before we end up a hanty mama to any parting thoughts here? I think I, you I, said the parting I, thought. I just like that. I I, 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 mean, I, I like you. that as an example uh, as as something to 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 take and 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 embrace. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I like it. Yeah. So, folks, today, I just want to encourage you to get to know our Savior, Jesus Christ, today. Mm-hmm. And right. He wants the best in you because He gave you that gift. That's right. He wants to refine that talent. And like I said, He go He works with the impossible. Everybody mm. knows it's impossible for you to do it, but with God, oh, everything's all possible. things are possible. He started a church; it was impossible. Mm-hmm. worked with the dead church it was impossible work with a church that pretty much they said uh, nothing could work in there it was a dead area but I've seen impossible enough in my lifetime that when God's in the mix it becomes a regular thing mm-hmm. just treat it with respect and love God for who you are so folks hopefully um, you get to know him today with mom and dad talks till next time we'll see you on mom and dad talks bye handy bye mom and dad uh, love you guys until next time